Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 15. Today we begin the playoffs at the end of our first season in our career with Trey Cash, the second string running back for the Cleveland Browns. And we get the first round bye, but you see the results here. Kansas City upsets the Broncos. The Packers handle the Bears easily. Same for the Patriots over the Texans. And then Seattle is going to beat the Buccaneers. So up next, Patriots get the Bills. Seahawks are going to be on the road against the Redskins. The Chiefs are on the road to the Browns. So we face up against the Chiefs and then the Packers and the 49ers. So the 11-5 Chiefs, 12-4 Browns. Going to be a very difficult game, but at least we get to play it at home. As we begin this one, it is in the snow. You see here Trey Cash back to return the kick. His first playoff action. We'll see how much playing time we get today. It's been hit or miss all season. And we'll see if the coaches are going to give us the opportunity in the playoffs. As with this kick, Trey taking it back. And he is going to get to the outside. And he's going to take this one all the way back to the 37. So a pretty good kick return for us there. We move ahead now all the way to the third quarter. And here it is not good news. It's 31 to 10. We have not had a single carry in this game, a single offensive snap in this game. But here, a very nice return as we take this one to the 48. We finally get in the game as a fullback as we're trying to find a block, and we're going to whiff on that one. But already down 21 points, and that was going to be it. That is the only offensive snap we get. We get blown out 45-24. A very disappointing game, and just like that, we are out of the playoffs, so our rookie season has come to an end. Ben Tate, just 18 carries, so really a bad day all around for this Cleveland Browns team. The Patriots blow out the Bills, Seahawks beat Washington, and San Francisco beats the Packers. So up next now, we move on to the conference games, as it's going to be the Patriots at the Chiefs and Seahawks at the 49ers, a rematch for those two teams who are bitter rivals. And you see here, Seahawks are going to lose to the Niners, and the Patriots beat the Chiefs. And in the Super Bowl, the Patriots are going to end up losing to the 49ers as the San Francisco 49ers going to win the Super Bowl. So that brings us to the very end of our first season, now to the offseason, and now to the hard part. You take a look at this team, Ben Tate, Broke the single season rushing mark in 88 overall. We are a 73 overall, and I just don't see us getting any playing time. So we are going to request our release. I thought the Browns would be a good idea, but it did not turn out that way. So we are going to look elsewhere, see if someone else will give us an opportunity. And you see here, there are some teams that will. Six teams offering us a contract. We have the Saints, the Titans, the Falcons. The Patriots, not a bad opportunity. The Dolphins and the Jaguars, actually, excuse me, the Eagles on the end. All teams are offering us four-year deals. Now, each one does have its pros and cons. Obviously, we want to play for a good team, just like the Browns actually surprisingly ended up doing well. But another thing to it is the scheme. There's only a couple teams that have us as a good fit, the Titans being one, the Eagles the other. But the Eagles have... A very good running back. You see, though, going through here, the Dolphins, Lamar Miller is their only running back. He had his 200 yards rushing. LaShawn McCoy, guy I was just mentioning, not somebody we really want to be behind. So the Eagles, not really a good option. The Falcons, just Devontae Freeman, and he really didn't play at all. So that's an option. In Jacksonville, they have Toby Gerhardt, but they run a power run, not something we really want to be a part of. James White, the only Patriots running back. Curry Robinson, the only Saints running back. And then the Titans have Hunter and McCluster, but they do have that good fit for us. So our overall, actually, when we get out of the Browns, where we were a 73, we're actually a 77. So we were actually a bad fit for the Browns. So couple things to kind of think about. Do we want to go with the good fit? Do we want to go with the good team? I know we have a lot of points. We can put those in to maybe help us fit with a different scheme, uh, something with that would work with the West Coast offense or the spread offense. I know the Saints are a zone run offense, but kind of a lot of different options. Who will it be? And it really is going to come down to a couple teams I like the Titans have that good scheme fit, and they don't have a really clear number one running back. The Saints have a great team, and 
Actually, the scheme fit isn't too bad. A couple attributes we could work on to make us a little better. And then the Patriots, obviously, they're the Patriots. And I think we would fit well with that offense. So who is it going to be? A very important decision. we got to make sure we pick somewhere right where we have a chance at playing significant time. So without further ado, our new team is the New Orleans Saints. We decide to go with the Saints, that zone run. I put a lot of attribute points into ball carrier vision, which is a key attribute for the zone run offense. And what that ends us up with is even though you see here our overall is a 76, the Saints actually drafted a running back in the first round, second round, excuse me. But when you look at the confidence modified overall, as we have such a high confidence, we end up being the number one running back on the depth chart with that confidence modified overall of an 80. So even though they drafted a running back, we are first on the depth chart, which is exactly what we want to see. So finally, we get our shot to prove ourselves and we're going to do it as a member of the New Orleans Saints, a very good team. Actually finished 8-8 eight and eight last year, but with Drew Brees in that offense, I think we are going to absolutely thrive, and we will see what we can do. So you will see the start of season number two, preseason, next video. But that's going to be for this one. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I would really appreciate it, and subscribe to see any future video that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.